thank you for joining us again today. Today we're here with Kay. She's the owner of Farmers, well, at least this office, mm -hmm. of Farmers Insurance. Yes. And we'll let her tell us a little bit of what they do here. Kay, what is it okay. that you guys do here yeah, in this okay. office? Wonderful. Um, specifically. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Kay. I'm an agent with Farmers. And uh, what we do here is we uh, meet with our clients and review insurance coverages. Uh, many of us have questions about what does it mean to have auto coverage and what do those numbers mean? We explain those things to our clients, be it for the auto coverage, be it for their homeowners, um, and also uh, we have other options in way of insurance, life insurance, for example, um, and umbrella coverages for uh, both home and as well as business owners. Um, there's a lot of insurance, a lot of uh, um, options out there that clients should know about and more importantly, understand what premiums they're paying for. So we help answer those questions. So you have homeowners insurance, car insurance, and business insurance. Yes. Are those the three main insurance? Um, other than life insurance, do you guys do life insurance yes. as well? We also do life insurance. Okay. So those are the four areas we focus on. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, Kay, how long have you uh, been an insurance agent and how did you get started? Wonderful. Well, um, I've had my licenses for 13 years. Um, I was very curious about uh, insurance and financial services uh, at you know many 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 years ago <laughs> so I decided to dig in and understand more about what uh, what am I paying for what's covered I wanted to make sure I understand the products and I can answer questions for myself as well as others once I got my licenses I um, decided to uh, you know, be able to explain it to others because it really is important to have, uh, be ready and have coverage when we need it. For example, um, I'm going to use life insurance because that is a type of coverage everybody needs. Mm -hmm. uh, we are, are going to pass away at some point and that's the only policy we're sure to collect on, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, knowing when to buy life insurance, when to get started, and why is it important, not for me, but for my loved ones. You know, you're protecting your family and your loved ones mm -hmm. when you purchase life insurance. Yeah. So that's the passion behind, uh, oh, okay. you know, how yeah. I became a life How long has it been? Um, 13 years. 13 years. Okay. I uh, was initially, when I got my licenses, I was a training agent, and I've worked for Farmers Insurance for the bulk of that time. More recently, I decided to become agent and agents mm -hmm. and talk to clients and explain coverages and explain um, the benefits of having insurance. Okay, and how long have you had this office? Yes, I've been here since August. So oh, it's new. Yes, it's kind it's of really like six, new. seven months. Yes, yes, yeah. it's great and we have a great team. We get, um, we have a lot of calls coming in, a lot of clients come and visit us uh, we offer free insurance review. If you have coverages that you don't understand what they exactly mean, we're happy to review it for you. Just bring bring your uh, information and we will offer a free review for you. That's awesome. Because yeah. some, some people don't know, um, and I know because I've talked to you about this before, yes. like for my remodels and for my clients, they don't know what... Um, what uh what kind of insurance they have and mm -hmm. what they have off what they offer and yes. what they don't can you explain that a little bit because yes. you're way better yes. at explaining okay. that than me <laughs> yes no I, I i thank you thank you for asking the question so yes um when it comes to homeowner coverage there are um things that we think of okay fire if there's god forbid a fire in my home things just that they're not down. covered for exactly yeah. and then uh, those are um those are of course uh, things that you assume you have coverage for and that's that's fine but the things that you're referring to are more like water damage or you know mm -hmm. what if there's an earthquake yeah. would my uh would my existing coverage uh be you know replacing my home if there's an earthquake the answer may be no because it could be that you need uh, earthquake coverage specifically yeah. you need to have water damage coverage yeah. specifically yes. to have that 
be part of uh, your claim yeah. once you file a claim. Yeah. So um, those details are things that uh, impact the premium we pay, but also it's very important that we know what we're selecting to yes, have. Because I just had actually somebody, I think a few weeks ago, and they had mold in their kitchen. Mm -hmm. And um, they didn't have farmers, they had a different uh -huh. a different insurance company, but um, I talked to the adjuster and I don't think that they're covered. Yes, so See, that's, that's a huge expense oftentimes because yeah. they have to get rid of the mold and it's a health factor. So it's a, it can be costly and it's important that we give you your, the best advice at the time that you're purchasing a policy so that you're you're walking in knowing yeah. what you have coverage for. But even you do free reviews. Yes, so absolutely. even if if somebody is a, is is a homeowner now, then maybe they should come to you if they have farmers insurance. Yes. If they don't have farmers insurance, they can always come to me uh, anyway. Come to you anyway. Yes. Okay. Yes, because by bringing your coverage no matter what kind of uh, policy you have, we can review the declaration page and it lists what kind what is covered what isn't covered and how much so it doesn't happen to like this last person where yeah. i couldn't really help them because yes. too late we're still waiting well we're still waiting on the adjuster but he did email me he said i don't know if they were covered mm -hmm. because when she said mold that was a red flag for me yes. because not yes. a lot of homeowner uh they know about the the, the um the, the water damage and yes. then also the um, the mold. mold absolutely those are two potentially costly claims yeah. and unfortunately and when they come to be yes <laughs> they're not covered yeah yeah <laughs> so there's yeah. not much i can do unless yes. they pay out of pocket yes so. we encourage you to review before the disaster happens yeah. we we that's why we have insurance you know mm -hmm. that's why we pay premiums mm -hmm. monthly oftentimes just to make sure we have peace of mind so why not have clear understanding of what coverages we have be hopefully ahead of time before right. the disaster happens yeah. you know um yep. same thing happens with auto insurance you know we get into an accident and unfortunately at that point we're like well what do i what do i have that covered you know, yeah kind of, you know, so that's a little bit late to uh, be asking yeah. the question so my yeah. invitation is bring your policies no matter who you're insured with and we can do a free review for you Mm -hmm. Yes. Then um, another important one is life insurance. I, mm -hmm. I keep going back to that one because we all have loved ones, be it children, be it elderly parents. Mm -hmm. We could be oftentimes the only uh, breadwinner in the family. Yeah. If I pass away and I am not able to you know, bring money, yeah. what's going to happen to those who depend on me? Yes. Life insurance brings peace of mind for all of us, though, for our loved ones. For, for me, too, knowing that my children are taken care of, yeah. my, you know. Because it's an unfortunate thing. I mean, yes. we don't know that, you know, our next breath is, you know, mm -hmm. given. I mean, yes. it could be taken away from us at any time, unfortunately, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so that's that's good for you that you guys offer that. Yes. That, yes. Um, especially, like you said, the, the breadwinner of the family. Mm -hmm. um, we don't want to think about those things. Yes. And it, it's sad, and I really don't want to think about it. And, but it's something that maybe we should start yes. thinking about. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And it, it's age-based. So the younger you are, the less it's going to uh, cost you. Yeah. And every time you have a birthday, the premium goes up for life insurance. Yeah. And it also depends on your health. So those two factors, unfortunately, um, go hand in hand. It sounds like the older we get, our <laughs> health kind of de yeah. declines. Well, I'm and sick now. I know, yeah, it's like, yeah, so, you know. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, exactly. So, so uh, those are the, th the reasons why we should uh, come and have a conversation. I'm happy to review and give you options. And even if you have life insurance, is it enough? Uh -huh. Do you need other things? Uh, for example, people tell me I have life insurance at work. Great, that's a good policy to have, but is that enough coverage? Is it gonna be there when you leave that employer? Mm -hmm. You know, is the employer gonna continue to offer it? You know, then uh, that may not be the uh, best choice to just have one kind of insurance, life insurance. Uh -huh. So we wanna maybe have something tandem, like when you, um, when you own your policy, it doesn't matter where you work. If the employer oh, offers it, if the yeah. employer offers it, 
then you uh, you can have it as a supplement yeah. and it's oftentimes very inexpensive to have mm -hmm. it at work uh -huh. uh, in form of group life but it's limited you know the amount of coverage is limited so we can have those conversations and and really uh, educate you on how much you need then we also look at your budget how much is your budget mm -hmm. and then we match the two because uh, you should be able to be comfortably affording the policy right. and we can always add as your needs increase as your income increases mm -hmm. we can add premium yeah that's great yeah that's wonderful okay yeah. okay um for yeah. all the wonderful women that are out there that uh, are watching yeah um and that may be afraid or maybe they're thinking about starting their own business mm -hmm. um what would you what would you say to them Wonderful. are there any advice that yes. you would give them yes yes um absolutely i would say follow your dreams uh definitely and have conversations i would uh invite you to talk to another business owner i invite you to uh, talk to me talk to someone you trust and love and already know um, to see what the ups and downs are it as a business owner you you can't predict all the things that you're going to have to deal with but the fruit of it all like the final product is that you're going to be um, building something you're going to be making something that's yours and uh, you're going to figure it out you know like there are people that have done the taken the steps that you're going to take mm -hmm. so please um, talk to others and uh, continue to find her you know the answers to your questions and you can do it you really can it just takes persistence yeah. and uh, you know a, a encouragement motivation and a plan of course a plan <laughs> a plan yeah. definitely would a business plan would help if you don't have experience writing a business plan you can talk to someone and get coached through it you know that's uh that's the first step knowing a map of what you want to yeah. do yeah and then you figure out okay where am i going to get the money where am i going to get the you know to get the location or whatever else is needed it's going to be mapped out mm -hmm. and you can know step by step what you need to work on but when it's done and you you're finally started your business it will feel rewarding and if your plan is, you know, detailed, yeah. then you have a much better chance of succeeding. Yeah. Yeah. So be passionate on on one area, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, go for it, basically. Yes. <laughs> have a business plan. Yes. And make sure that you're funded and supported. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's would, the key. Yeah. Do you I agree with that? I totally agree with okay. that. Yeah. yeah. I actually have interviewed a few people and they haven't said, have a business plan. Yeah. You're the first one that says that. Yes. So that's yes. really good. Yeah. Because not a lot of people know about that. Mm -hmm. But it's important to have yes. a business plan. Yes. Um, would you say it's been hard mm -hmm. owning your own business? Mm -hmm. And has it been hard because you are a woman? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know if this yes. is a male-dominated uh -huh. field. Yes, yes, there are. When you look at insurance agents, uh, the majority uh, history, in the, you know, over time, the majority of uh, uh, us are male. But, um, but now more and more females have started to become agents. And successful ones too i'm happy to to see it's now 50 50. we've it's taken a few years uh, uh -huh. over the last 13 years i've been licensed i've been watching the female uh population grow the number of female uh business owners at uh that are agents are uh, noticeable now you know it used to be very rare but uh -huh. i'm happy to say more of us <laughs> are around and yes um it is, um, it's a different experience. Uh, the clients sometimes uh, have more comfort speaking to a female, uh, be it general male clients or female clients. That kind of uh, has helped, I've found. And then, um, you know, it, it, you can find your niche, absolutely. You can find who's comfortable with you. Um, if you want to focus as a business owner, I may want to uh, focus on working with more business owners yeah. so you know I can pick and choose or I want to be maybe working with families you know so then that involves talking to the husband the wife and uh, making sure that I advise about their household and you know the protection there so any business you can target 
who your clientele yeah. should be. And as a female, you can uh, start to know what you're more comfortable with yeah. and where you have more success. Yeah, We all don't connect with everybody. Right. So we can narrow our personalities mm -hmm. and see, okay, where can I be more impactful? Yeah. Where can I make the most difference? Yeah. And yes, it is scary. <laughs> it is scary because you, I wasn't a business owner before. So I had a lot of things to figure out, you know, not, even though I had a business plan, but it's like uh, items show up that you have to deal with that you didn't predict, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. but you ask enough questions and you know other business owners have dealt with similar situations. So you have that uh, accountability and, uh, you know, you have yeah. a team yeah. to be able to ask questions of. Yeah. So you had a team of other other um, people within farmers mm -hmm. yes. that you were, that you would ask questions to. Yes, I made sure that I used my district manager, for example. You know, he's responsible for my success. Okay. So you know, I know I would ask him questions. Oh, okay. I would ask the company questions, like there's underwriters that yeah. uh, give the policies. So I would call on them about those types of questions. Uh, I have friends with my landlord here at the office, you know, so if I need better lighting, better this, better that yeah. for the comfort of my customers, mm -hmm. I talk to her about okay. things. You know, I am, um, I found a, like a, a payroll company that I'm comfortable with because, you know, I have to pay payroll, but who answers those questions, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, just like that, we, we find resources. The resources are out there. So it hasn't been difficult for you because you're you're able to ask, ask questions. questions. Okay, yeah. and, and ask I, for help. Yes, <laughs> that, is, that is the key. I would say, I mean, some of us are not comfortable asking, but I, I worry, I sit there and worry, and worry doesn't help anything. Yeah. You know, yeah. so it's best to pick up the phone and ask the question. <laughs> pick up the phone. <laughs> and, yeah, or yeah. reach out. Reach out reach to out. someone that could have the answer. Yeah. Or they may know who to send, send you to. Someone else to direct you to. Yes. With the right answer. Okay. Yes. That has been the key to success and less worry, you know. Okay. If Great. You, yeah. 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 That's, that's a really good advice. Yeah. Um, I feel as I, I'm more, the more that I do these videos, yes. the more pumped up I get yes. by you women oh, yeah. and you ladies. Uh -huh. And you all have really good insight. Thank you. To give. Um, is there anything else that you would like to add mm -hmm. uh, that maybe Thank we didn't you. touch on? Yeah. Um, I encourage whoever is listening, uh, be it your male or female, uh, pursue your dreams. I really um, encourage you to stay motivated and um, pick friends or those circles of people around you that are motivated and are up to doing uh, good things for themselves. That way you stay motivated and you see the ups and downs and we're not alone. Yeah. We're not alone in our <laughs> Sometimes in our we do day think day. that we are yes, alone, but exactly. then we find other people yes. that are like minded yes. like us. Yes. And um that perhaps even another business owner, and then you figure, oh my gosh, I'm not alone. Yeah. I'm not the only one struggling. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and so yeah. So your advice is really good. Ask questions, mm -hmm. ask ask for help. Yes. And yeah. keep the balance of your personal life and your business yes. life. That's uh, that's hard to do sometimes yeah. because we can get totally um, in one side or the other, but finding that balance mm -hmm. uh, and allowing time for family time when you're a business owner and allowing time for business time uh, when you have so much responsibility at home also. Uh, it, it so has that be. been a struggle for you? Yes. Finding the time with then the family uh -huh. and then the business, the, the work in the business. Yes, uh, it, it it has been a struggle. But uh, what I do is I finally I put it. I do well with calendaring and and scheduling appointments. So I put it on my calendar to spend time with my family or take them to the doctor or whatever I need to do. I make time and I treat it like an appointment. So this way I can have balance between the two. Because if honestly, if I stay at work 24 seven, there's plenty to do. I could yeah. stay busy <laughs> at work solving That's problems true. and so forth. So yeah. I stop and I look at my calendar and I allow time, blocks of time each day, just to make sure I address the family, my personal life, as well as my 
yeah. uh, business life. Yeah, it's yes. important. Yes. It's important to find balance so that you can keep your sanity. <laughs> yeah, sanity, motivate. Be motivated to get up, excited yeah. the next day yeah. and say, I'm going to go and do good. And not okay. overwork yourself as well. Too, yes. Because that's e very easy to do. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Kay. Thank you so Thanks much for, for having me. this morning. With Absolutely. Me we'll yes. we'll find out a little bit more about your day and okay. how you get things done here, and maybe show us around a little bit. Sure, I'd be happy to do yeah. that. Okay. Thank you. Right. Let's go. Hi, uh, this is Kay Karjadi. I am a farmer's insurance agent. I'm located at 758 East Bullard, Suite 102. Our phone number is 559-222-7777. I'm here to assist you with all your insurance needs, be it auto, home, life, umbrella, and business owner's insurance. Uh, we are here Monday through Friday, eight to five. Again, our phone number is 559-222-7777. All right, come on in. Let's go this way. Um, okay. Here's our office. Our NOFO is working on a business policy right now. And Samira. She helps with uh, personal lines, auto and home. And this is my office, come on in. All right, thank you for joining us. You're welcome to come uh, and see a day in the life of Kay. Um, I sit here and I, address your questions and concerns over the phone. I'm a phone call away for any policy coverages you need. Um, if a claim happens, if, um, what other questions I get, how much is it to renew or replace a policy, be it for your auto insurance, be it for your homeowner's insurance, life insurance. I also help uh, commercial uh, business owners uh, policies uh, based on their needs what type of insurance, uh, what kind of business they have, um, and also uh, work comp coverage for their employees. If you have any questions about those types of types of coverages, I'm available to help you. Um, I'm a phone call away, and um, we are here Monday through Friday from 8, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And uh, also after hours, you can leave us a message we will return your call.